Welcome back to the Screen Savers. PC Pioneer Week continues our second day in yesterday. Nolan Bushnell, of course, the creator of uh, entertainment on uh, te technology entertainment. And uh, our, our guest today is a very important PC Pioneer, the guy who really made encryption, put encryption in the hands of all users, strong encryption, the kind of encryption that uh, even protects you from your own government. Twelve years ago, in 1991, he created PGP, Pretty Good Privacy. And uh, we welcome Phil Zimmerman to our studios once again. Uh, it's great to have you. Thanks for joining us, Phil. PGP still around? Yep. How did? When did it start? How did it start? Well, it started out as a human rights project um, in in Boulder, and when I just uh, worked on it in the spare bedroom. And what was the plan? Who's human rights, and, and why did they need encryption? Well, I, at that time, during the 1980s, I was kind of a political activist. On uh, I was a peace activist, mm -hmm. and. Um, I saw a need for human rights organizations and uh, grassroots political organizations to be able to protect themselves from their own governments, both here and other countries as well. Was it ever used that way? Oh, yeah. Today, in fact, every human rights organization in the world uses PGP. That's pretty neat. PGP uh, encrypts not just email, but can encrypt anything. But you saw it really as an email encryption at first? Well, actually, in those days, uh, the Internet was not as uh, widely visible to the public as um, electronic bulletin board systems. Oh. So I, I thought of it uh, as being used on bulletin board systems. So you <laughs> posted it could be used on the internet too whenever. Someday. <laughs> someday. <laughs> oh, how interesting. How interesting. Now, PGP uh, uses um, uh, what they call public key crypto cryptography, cryptography, right? Yes. Uh, strong enough to defeat all but the most powerful computers. Well, I don't know if I would it's 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 hard to say that it all, you, that it's all but the most powerful because um, modern crypto today modern cryptographic algorithms today are uh, have has reached parity with the with uh, the, the NSA and and so uh, the NSA is going to be using um, the same algorithms to protect its classified communications oh, as what we use in BGP you're kidding so, so even when the government wants the best possible encryption, they use the same thing PGP uses? Well, they, they do. Use they do, and, and, and they're also using PGP. Really? Uh, every, uh, all the major government's uh, intelligence agencies are using PGP. So what's your sense? Do, I always assumed that if you threw enough computing power at it and you had enough time, you could eventually crack. Well, that's always been true, but you know that's true only in, in, a, in a kind of a trivial mathematical way, uh, right. meaning that... Uh, if you have cosmological time to work on it, then <laughs> it's not practically then, yeah, yeah, it's it's computationally infeasible, or at least wow. uh, at least uh, academic cryptographers believe it to be computationally right. infeasible. Right. Right. Well, if the N you know, it's good enough for the NSA. It's good enough for me, I guess. You know, yeah. if they feel like they can use it to protect our governmental secrets from the rest of the world, and it seems like it would be enough to protect ourselves from the NSA uh, or somebody else. I don't think that they would. Um, trust it for their own secrets if they thought they right. themselves could break it because they would assume that others would discover the same, the same techniques. They, for a long time, the feds uh, tried to stop PGP. In fact, they, they uh, classified it uh, munitions, uh, unexpo unexportable. That's right. And, and, and they went after you. Well, that's right, yes. But that's over with now. We're all oh, good yeah. friends. Years ago, they, um, they, they gave up. We, actually, we just we beat them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes you just win, and that's what we did. PGP, the company has gone through some ups and downs. It was acquired by Network Associates. They've sold it again, which I take it you're pretty happy about. Yeah. It's now run by PGP Corporation. Is that a for-profit company? Yeah, it's a new startup. Well, it's not new now. It's over a year since it started. Yeah. And they bought the intellectual property from Network Associates. Right. And that means that uh, the dark days are over. PGP is back. For a long time, I was telling people either go to PGPI, which was kind of PGP International, or to use GNU PG, yeah. uh, which is an open source version of PGP, because it felt like, well, it, you know, it's 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 safer. We we know it's kind of its provenance. It's safer. But do you feel like uh, now PGP Corporation is a pretty good uh, yes. custodian of this. There technology? there was dancing in the streets when it when, <laughs> when PGP it was mildly. rescued. Really, from that's great. Associates. They still offer a free version. Oh yeah. Yeah. In fact, I use it all the time. I use it on my Macintosh. Um, pretty easy to use for Windows users as well. I mean, it's, it's it yeah. installs and yeah. Yeah, um, that's a nice GUI. Uh, but you know, uh, one of the difficulties through the years um, has 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 been uh, ease of use. Right. Uh, it's not so much that it needs a better user interface. It's that 
Uh, if you want your mom to use it, yeah, uh, it's going to be tough to get her to understand uh, public key cryptography and right. and trust models right. and key certification and public key infrastructure. So how do we hide those authority. details from her? Well, they have a new product out now that just came out uh, in August uh, called uh, PGP Universal, mm -hmm. and it's this uh, box. It's actually a Linux box. It's hardware. Yeah. yeah. Well, Dirty. I mean, it's software running on the Linux right. Right. box, and it. It, uh, it encrypts all of the mail going in and out of a company or enterprise mm -hmm. um, in a transparent way. It's a proxy. It's an email proxy. So I don't know that it's encrypted, but nothing goes out of the company that's not encrypted. Yeah, nothing. and so all the thousands of employees in the company right. uh, have no learning curve. In right. fact, they don't even realize that there's any no PGP involved. They, they just keep doing what they normally do, and they're not aware that it's even there. Now, I can understand why a company would want to do this. I can understand why a human rights group would want to do this. Why should my mom want to encrypt her email? Well, um, I've always thought that we should all do it just because if we do, then uh, it becomes the normal accepted way. And there's it's not no, a red flag. It's saying, not. It's not stigmatized. Right. Decrypt me. I'm hiding something. That's right. And, yeah. and in today's political climate of the Patriot Act and, and uh, um, uh, you know uh, law enforcement becoming more and more powerful, uh, I think that uh, having uh, completely stigma-free. Uh, crypto in the hands of the public is is becoming increasingly Even more important. important. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Do you worry that it's also in the hands of the bad guys? Well, sure. I I, I worry about that, but um, I just can't see a way of making it available to everyone else mm -hmm. without making it available to them. Mm -hmm. There's lots of technologies that are like that. Uh, you know, uh, even military technologies. Right. Uh, the GPS receivers are Can military. For good they or were evil. developed for the military. Yeah, right, right. And yet, um, and, and, and terrorists could use GPS right. receivers to guide them to their targets. Right. And, and the only way to stop that is to take it away from everyone else. Imagine if no one could use GPS receivers, what that would do to the economy. Right. Good point. Well, we're glad PGP is there. We thank you for inventing it. It's now 12 years old and going better than ever, it sounds yeah. like. Phil Zimmerman. It's making money now. It's making money now. That's Very right. important uh, <laughs> if you want to survive. PhilZimmerman.com is your website. Yes. People can get PGP. Spelled with two M's. Two M's. Very. No, no, not the M's. N's. Two N's. Two yes. M's and two N's. Well, that too, yes. <laughs> you should know that by now. <laughs> two M's and two N's. And, of course, PGP.com is the place where you can get both the commercial and the free version of PGP. Yeah. And I use it every. I don't encrypt everything, but I sign everything I send out. Maybe I should start encrypting, too. Yeah. Thank you, Phil. I appreciate your time. Sure. It's always great to see you. If you want more on PGP and instructions on how to secure your information, Phil's got an article for you. It's easier than you might think at the screensavers.com. Still to come, our little pea tipper, our petite tipper, will show you how to expand your send to options. But first, we want to talk to a caller who wants to know if he can use GPS on his cell phone. It's got it. Can he get driving directions? We'll find out right after this.